What's up guys, Garrett Gordon here and in this video as you can see I'll be demonstrating the 3T drill. Um, you can see how I kind of have um, this outside or this inside pitch here, you know, a little bit different height. Um, and if you really want to challenge yourself too, you can really make this uh, middle pitch there a little bit higher even there. So when you do go to swing at this outside pitch, if you lose your posture and it come around the ball like that, you'll probably crash into that um, middle pitch as well. But I'm going to first take this, take a swing at this outside pitch here. As I get going, I load back. I get in a pretty good position there with my head staying back. And as I begin to rotate, you can see me getting on plane with the pitch right here. And I'm really focusing on getting my direction through this ball and not coming around it, but working at my back hip and then through it that way. And then you can see when I get to contact there, I get there, and then I finish up and through it just like that. So as I progress, progress to this next one, I get rolling here. We're going to go to this middle pitch. I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to point out that when I get to the middle pitch, you can see my hips have rotated a little bit farther than they did on this outside pitch right here so my hips stop there on the outside pitch and then when I progress to this middle pitch they're going to turn a little bit farther as I get to rotation hit get to contact there you can see I rotate even farther now let's see what happens to this inside pitch see if I rotate even a little bit farther and I did so as the pitch as the pitch progresses from outside all the way to inside, you want to make sure to keep your direction on the ball that you're not over-rotating away from the ball this way. It's very common for young hitters to do this, even you know high school kids and beyond. They get in this position of over-rotating. Your hips only have to get to a certain point. My hips are going to stop there. I'm going to stay in a good position. And that's the, the stopping of the hips right here is what allows my upper body and posture and the overall direction with my bat and my, my shoulders and everything to propel through the ball, me crushing it to the left center gap. So I'm going to make another video um, here explaining um, where you want to stand and, and why you need to stand there as well. But from a side position, this is a pretty good demonstration of what you need to do and how you need to look when you're performing the 3T drill. Thanks, guys.